I'm News 6 meteorologist Jonathan Kegis. Thank you for dialing up ClickOrlando.com, the pinpoint weather app in News 6 Plus. We're mainly dry for the first half of Saturday. I think we'll see a stray opportunity for a few showers west of Orlando. This is the West Coast sea breeze getting going. Once we get towards dinner time tonight, I think the East Coast sea breeze tries to light up with a few scattered thunderstorms, mainly east of Orlando. That is pushing inland. Watch what happens late this evening. We had the collision between the two sea breezes that helped to force up more thunderstorms. So we're mainly looking late tonight beyond dinner time, beyond 7 o'clock around Orlando into Kissimmee and Point South for us into Lakeland as well for the chance for some really heavy rain embedded in those thunderstorms, some gusty thunderstorms tonight. Again, I think most of us north of Sanford are going to be on the drier side, but it's going to be Orlando and areas south. But I really have to watch for some lightning tonight and some really heavy rain in those thunderstorms. Now tomorrow we'll have another chance for more storms on a more widespread scale. Here's one o'clock. Other than a few showers early, I think we're mainly going to be dry on Sunday in Marion County and Flagler County. There's one o'clock with a few stray showers and downpours. We're going to increase the coverage and increase the intensity with the heating of the day here. So here we go at three to four o'clock. Scattered shower and thunderstorm chances are around for us. And some of these again could pack a punch, especially along and southeast of I-4, so from about Daytona Beach to Sanford, Orlando as well. Dinner plans, be on the lookout for some nasty thunderstorms tomorrow afternoon and evening, and especially points out for us into Kissimmee, into Melbourne, into Miko, Yeehaw Junction. 11 o'clock on Sunday, just a few stray showers around. I think we'll see a few showers linger into your Monday morning commute. But then beyond that, we're going to start to increase sunshine. Temperatures on Saturday back in the lower 90s. It's going to be blazing hot unless you're right along the coast and it's just going to be nice and comfortable as that East Coast sea breeze comes in. Temperatures back to the low to mid 80s if you're heading to the beach today. 90 for us on Sunday with that 60% shot for showers and thunderstorms. Again, most of those chances focus along a line from about I-4 and then southeast into Osceola into Brevard County. We're at 83 on Monday after we get rid of those showers. We'll see sunshine, more sunshine Tuesday and Wednesday. Wednesday, gorgeous start to your work week.